World War I broke out in June 1914 after the assassination of Austria's Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Due to long-standing tension and a complicated system of military alliances, this one incident ignited mankind's deadliest conflict up to that point. The main combatant nations were the central powers of Germany, Austria-Hungary, and the Ottoman Empire against the allied nations of Great Britain, Russia, and France. When the war broke out, the United States did not want to get dragged into the bloody conflict, and President Woodrow Wilson tried to keep the U.S. out of it. By 1917, however, U.S. neutrality in the conflict had ended. Neutrality was difficult to maintain in a nation populated by immigrants from both sides of the conflict. American economic ties to Europe also made it difficult to remain isolated from the conflict. In general, though, American public opinion favored the Allied side. One reason for the anti-German public opinion in America was Germany's violation of freedom of the seas. In an effort to break a British naval blockade, German U-boats had been sinking ships sailing in the North Atlantic. In May 1915, the British passenger ship Lusitania was sunk off the coast of Ireland, killing nearly 1,200 passengers, including 128 Americans. Not wanting to risk bringing the United States into the conflict, Germany agreed to halt its use of unrestricted submarine warfare. In what was called the Sussex Pledge, Germany promised that it would no longer sink merchant ships without warning. Tensions between the U.S. and Germany reached a boiling point, however, when in January 1917, British intelligence officials intercepted a telegram sent by a German official named Arthur Zimmerman to the German ambassador in Mexico. In the Zimmerman telegram, as it was called, the German government proposed a military alliance with Mexico. Germany hoped that Mexico would keep the United States occupied by launching an attack to reclaim the territory that Mexico lost to the United States after the Mexican-American War. Outraged, the American public now favored war against Germany. On April 2nd, Woodrow Wilson called a special session of Congress together, and on April 4th, Congress passed a declaration of war against Germany. The United States now had to prepare for a total war.